Hey guys, this is Justin from the NTG Companions. We're going to do a quick little duck tag for you guys. Um, we wanted to take this out sooner, but uh, there were some cards we were waiting for that never came in the mail, so that is why this is delayed like a lot. So uh, let's just get to it. So, blue, white, red, USA control. Very, very fun deck to play. I've been using it, and it j just kicks butt. Um, very fun. If you want to play a deck that's just really good and fun, then I highly suggest this deck. For land base, we're running four Hell of a Fountain. It's three Steam Vents. I'm not running the fourth Steam Vents because uh, I don't find it that necessary. And just having another Steam Vents, it just means more shocking to your life. Or an untapped land. Or a tapped land, excuse me. And I'm fine with my deck is perfectly good. The mana base is really strong without it. So three steam vents. We're running four glacial fortress, four sulfur falls, and four cliff thought retreats. Uh, oh, these are three proxies for cliff thought retreat. This is one of the main reasons why this deck deck was delayed, just because we're waiting for cliff thought retreats, but. Oh well. Um, our last rare land, utility land, is Desolate Lighthouse. You pay one generic, one blue, and one red. You draw a card. Oh, excuse me. You tap this as well, and then you draw a card and discard a card. So cycling out a card in your hand to hopefully get a card that will be better for your cause. Whoa. Sorry about that. In two basic lands, we have three plains, one island, and one mountain. Now into our goodies, our spells. We're going to start off with Planeswalkers. We're running four Jace Architect of Thought. One of the foundations or things that help you get going with this deck. Um... He's basically going to help you get your cards, draw a uh, card advantage. Um, plus, swinging him isn't even that bad. It downsizes your opponent's creatures. Um, you're mainly using him for his minus two, getting revealing the top three cards of your library, and then having your opponent separate them, and then you're still going to get the card that you need the most out of it. You're just going to select whatever pile looks better to you. Um, so You have that. And then his minus eight is also considered a win condition. Um, it's a minus eight, and then you search you search both your deck and your opponent's deck for a card, and you exile it, and then you play it without paying its mana cost. So, Jace is very good in this deck. You're running two Tamiyo, the Moon Sage, very good answer to Thry Tusk, and mid rangey decks. Um, you're going to usually sideboarding her out against aggro decks just because she's kind of slow. Um, her minus eight, her ultimate, uh, it's a win condition too. Uh, people tell me that they, it's kind of really hard for them to get to it, but I usually get there all the time. Like, almost every time I get Tamiyo out. I control the board really good with all the other spells I have in there, in this deck, and her ultimate really isn't even that difficult to get for me, in my opinion. So, um, those are our planeswalkers into our spells. We're running four Pillar of Flame. This is one of those earlier answers because this deck is typically slower than, um, than other decks. Uh, it's one red, two damage, and if it you're doing this to a creature and it dies, it it's exiled instead. So, very, very good, especially against uh, zombie matchups. Next card is Azorius Charm. Um, I use this card mainly for its ability of... Well, you get three choices. You get to give a creature's lifelink, draw a card, or what I use is putting target attacking creature, attacking or blocking creature on top of its owner's library. So if you use it to a creature that's attacking... Not only are you preventing damage from that creature that turn, but you're also preventing 
a new card for them to draw next turn. You're, you're making them draw the card that they just attacked with, so... Um, very effective. I love this card. We're running four thing twice. Card advantage. Two mana draw a card. It's an instant. Flashback for three. Draw another card. Um, as an enchantment, we are only an enchantment in the deck. We're running Detention Sphere. It's an Oblivion Ring, basically, but a lot better. You're going to exile target non-land permanent and all of the permanents with the same name as it. So, um, Especially good against token generators that just make a buttload of tokens and stuff like that. And this just gets rid of all of them at the same time. So very handy. Next we have one Supreme Verdict. Um, you have more on the sideboard. The reason is because this could be bad for you if you're running more because the fact that uh, their zombie is really popular where I, where I play FNM. So uh, killing all the creatures just sometimes is better for them. You, they, the Gerald's Messenger gets bigger. Falcon Math Aristocrat is barely even touched because she just sacks a creature and becomes indestructible. And then Grave Caller just reoccurs, so it's just not really that good against zombies. You're probably going to start running this card out. Um, aggress against, against, against aggressive decks, you're going to be sideboarding more of them in. Four Terminus. Uh, very good, especially for the one white miracle cost. Uh, not even that bad paying the six for it. Put all creatures on the bottom of their owner's library. Can't go wrong with that. Your main win condition for this deck is Entreat the Angels. Um, he Once you play this card, it's... You'll have lethal within the next two or three turns. I, it's, it's really once you pull this guy out and they don't have an answer to it. It's just you. It's so much easier for you. You don't have to worry about anything that much. Um, even hard casting it, just like the terminus, is not even that bad. So three and three angels. Uh, four is kind of bad. I tried that out. It's just too heavy. So just three is good. Once you just. Finx's Revelation, my opinion, the greatest card in this deck. It reloads your hand and gives you life. Um, so yeah, uh, when just when your opponent thinks you're gonna die, you play this card out. You draw, you draw all like a bunch of cards, and you'll find an answer to the board, hopefully. And from there, you can just rebuild yourself and. Hopefully, get better in a better position. And our last few cards um, are only four creatures in the deck. Snapcaster Mage, going to be used to reoccur spells like Pillar of Flame and Azorius Charm. So, four Snapcaster Mage. We're gonna go really quick into the sideboard. Alright, so for Cyborg, we're running two Jace Memory Adepts. A uh, very, very good alternative to um, Architect of Thought. Um, just because this is serving as a way to win, uh, you're going to be milling your opponent out. You're going to be using his minus zero. Um, good against control decks and mid range builds. Your two Supreme Verdicts, more Creature Destruction, very good. Three Geist of St. Traft, good against control builds and builds that you know, or your builds that your opponent is using that you know you can get the game over quicker. One Amazing Mortars, working as a Supreme Verdict, but uh, red. And two Purify of the Graves, good for reanimator builds, two, three, two Syncopates, and three Dissipates. So, um... Sorry I'm rushing this, the time is like really close, 
to ending. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys later.